Windows 10 has a way for us to open up our firewall so a particular app can work, whereas before we would have to go into the control panel firewall. So let's go down to the start button and from here we'll click on settings. And from here settings we'll click on update and security and then we'll go to where it says Windows Defender and click on Defender. And we'll want to open up the Windows Defender Security Center. Go ahead and click on that. A faster way to get there would be just to go ahead and type in Defender, and it'll take you right there. All right, so now that we're here, we'll go ahead and click on what looks like a little wireless picture. That's our firewall network protection. And we're going to go to where it says Allow an App Through Firewall. Let's go ahead and click on that. And sometimes it doesn't open. Sometimes it just sort of hides behind other applications. So you got to go down to the uh, toolbar at the bottom and click on the Open. So now we see all the different apps and the ones that are allowed. You can see uh, if you have the private network set up that by default a lot more stuff is going to be allowed than if you have the public one set up. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So before you're allowed to make any changes to the settings, go ahead and click on Change Settings. And now things go from gray to black so we can make changes. So let's go down to a particular uh, location such as iSCSI service. We'll go ahead and check that box. Don't worry about what that is. We're ju I'm just showing you in general how to do this. And you can see that privately it's allowed, but publicly it's not. So we'll go ahead and click the box and we'll click OK. So now that app is allowed to work. So the question is, what are we on? Are we on a private? Are we on a public? And how do I know which one to enable? Well, we go down to our taskbar at the bottom and we right click on the little network picture and click Open Network and Internet Settings. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says Network and Sharing Center. And then we're going to see that we're on a private network. So we can see that the private network is what's going to be affected by those app settings. So if I go into, say, a Starbucks and open up my wireless connection, I'm going to be in a public network. And when I'm in a public network, you can see the firewall blocks a lot more apps, which is why you want to be able to open those up. So if one of your apps doesn't work, then it works in at home or in the office, but it doesn't work when you go out of, of the home or office, it's because of this public-private issue. And you can go back here when you go outside of your network, and you can see that this will probably change to public. So you allow that public in and then you're allowed to use that app even when you're outside your home. So that's how you add an app through the firewall in Windows 10.